William Samoya Rapruto, Kenya's deputy president, facing another major blow. His wife has now asked Kenyans to put uh, his husband, uh, Ruto, in her prayers. Rachel Ruto speaking after William Ruto was criticized for hiring goons who attacked Rigadi Kashagwa, former deputy president, has spoken for the first time and asked Kenyans to put his husband in prayers. As a servant of God, I ask for forgiveness. We might have failed as government by now by not expecting and meeting your expectations. Please forgive us. Rachel Ruto on November 22, 2024, asks for forgiveness for Kenyans for failing to do as they had previously promised the Kenyans and has told Kenyans that he will pressure his husband to make sure that they delegate their duties and make sure that they deliver to the Kenyan people. Rachel Ruto, who for a very long time has been criticized that she is a, a victim of domestic violence after a viral picture from 2022 to, uh, from 2023 to 2024 transitioning uh, during the December holiday. A picture went viral uh, that many people claim that it was Rachel Ruto who was a victim of domestic violence. They claim that Ruto is a man who had a uh, beat her up, but later on, it was noted that the two were together, disputing uh, the uh, more rumored news that uh, Aruto and uh, his wife had uh, divorced. Let me repeat what she said in church so that you will not get me wrong. As a servant of God, I ask for forgiveness. We might have failed as government by not meeting your expectations. Please forgive us. That's Rachel Ruto's statement to Kenyans, urging them to forgive them and give them time. She has also urged Kenyans to pray for William Ruto and his government because they hope and they trust in the best. They are very sure that over time everything will be all right and Kenyans will put a smiling figure.